Hello everyone, this is Defense Politics Asia and this is the summary for the day of 476 for the 14th of June. And let's start off with a statement from Prigozhin, the Wagner private military contractor boss. And uh, maybe I zoom in a bit, maybe you can see better. So uh, what happened is that, uh, oh, I actually copied a bit weird. So anyway, the Prigozhin basically, uh, after in the all these text, basically uh, the summary is that they reject uh the request from the russian defense ministry to sign contract uh so the wagner say that you no know, the fighters find it you no know, a shame to be associated with the russian defense ministry so they said no one will enter into contracts so they say that for social guarantees they he, he is sure that the state duma uh, which is their parliament and the president will find a compromise that will uh, guarantee uh, uh, and document the Wagner fighters as combatants, and and basically, uh, yeah, he he's just gonna go all the way out against uh the Russian Defense Ministry. So uh, anyway, so moving into the southern front, uh, as usual, uh, we have nothing over here. At the Zaporizhia front, uh, we have fighting reported at the Kayamske sector. Uh, Ukrainian forces uh attack uh south of Lukove towards Petikaki and they are also reportedly attacking towards Zaribyanki as well as towards Verknia uh, uh, Kretnisia uh, is over here so uh, of course they are definitely nowhere close to uh, this area is so actually still very far away and uh, so the information is coming from uh, to the one going to Verknia Kretnisia comes from Remelin 21 uh, the pro-Russian source and the information fighting to uh, fighting in the area of Zerebrianki comes from the Russian Defense Ministry. Uh, they say that the 128 Mountain Assault Brigade of the Ukrainian Armed Forces were uh, thwarted by airstrikes. And then uh, the as fighting south of Lokove, uh, this is reported by Deep State UA, the pro-Ukrainian source. Shelling is being reported uh, near Kayamsky. The Vostok Group of Force forces reported that they used the flamethrower system against the Ukrainian forces south of Kayamske, um, which is not likely uh, because in their information they say that it's uh, in the forest belt. But if you look at the Kayamske sector, um, it's very unlikely that the Ukrainians actually uh, comes to this area here. So, um, and this area here is also pretty unlikely because there is an entrenchment. Uh, in fact, the entrenchment over here is pretty heavy for the Russian side. So I suspect that it's actually uh, somewhere uh, more towards this area here, uh, just off, uh, just off the Kove. So uh, that's all from the Kayamske sector. Moving into the Orekiv sector, the Ukrainian forces continue their fighting uh, south of Novo uh towards Robotine and uh, towards towards Verbove. Or generally south of Malatomashka. The fighting continues. Uh, the intensity is definitely a lot lower than it used to be uh, because previously they used armored, armored charge and then now they are using more of an infantry centric attack. Um, but there is uh, information coming from Deep State UA that uh, sh shows that the Ukrainians, uh, Ukrainians currently you know, have taken over uh, for. Uh, in serious, more serious terms of this entrenchment around here, uh, but the Russians are still holding uh, this line. They are the Ukrainians still have not reached the first line of defense along Robotine, so the Ukrainians did actually you know at least get this area here. Uh, otherwise, the situ the situation south of Malatomashka is basically uh, remains the same. Uh, there is no changes in terms of the uh, front line over here. Uh, moving on, uh, there is nothing at the Huyapole region in, and into the Velika Novo Silka sector. Uh, the Ukrainian forces have secured Makarivka. Fighting is now in the southern outskirts of Makarivka, with the Russian forces holding the line north of Staro Mayoske. And uh, they, there is also you no know, reinforcement being reported uh, to, to hold the line over here. Information coming from the Russian Defense Ministry and Deep State UA. Uh, where the fighting is reported around the Makarivka region. Deep State UA is a bit more specific. They say that it's uh, south of Makarivka. And uh, fighting is also being reported at Urzani. Uh, this information is coming from the Ukra uh, Deep State UA, pro-Ukrainian source, and Raiba, the pro-Russian source. And uh, 
uh, Rima reported that the fighting is very fierce uh, over this region here. And uh, we do have some uh, uh, updating of the front line around uh, the, the, the location between Uruzaine and uh, Novodonetsk. Uh, there, if there is information coming from Remelin Twenty One that uh, the Ukraine, the Russian forces actually have reinforcement, and uh, and they, they managed to straighten the front line between Novodonetsk and uh, Uruzaine. So, according to uh, Deep State UA's mapping, it does seem to be that case. The Ukrainian uh, salient over here has been uh, taken back by the Russian forces, and the front line is actually uh, being clarified around Uruzane. So the this area here is not this area here is not under the Ukrainian side. The front line is actually uh, more of along the Makarivka line with the Ukrainians continue to be pushing in this direction towards Uruzane and uh, the Russians are actually having uh, some a uh, buffer zone between Uruzane and the uh, and the Ukrainian forces. Um before I go to Novodonetsk, uh the, the reinforcement uh, from the Russian side actually arrived at Storo, uh, Staro uh, Milinivka. Uh, so it, it, it does make sense to come here uh, because if you can see, there is a crossing over the Mokriyali River. So this makes it a pretty a very good uh, place to hold as a forward operating base. And then from here, they can actually deploy in all directions. Uh, they can deploy towards uh, the front line between Uruzani and Novodonetsk. They can actually travel to Kamachek and go towards Novodonetsk. They can actually go up the road and towards Staromayorsk and to fight for Malinivka or to protect Uruzani or to fight northward. So uh, this is actually a very very strategically important uh, town for the Russian forces. Uh, the the you, you, I will consider this, the same thing for uh, Staro Mayoske and Uruzani. You can see there's actually also a road over here. So it's just that this is very close to the front line. Uh, you do not uh, land in, you do not bring forces are uh, so close to the front line for deployment. Um, and uh, over on the western part of this uh Velika Novosilka sector, uh, fighting is reported towards uh Rifnopil, and uh, also uh, uh sorry, opposite. The Russians were attacking uh, in the area of Rifnopil and uh, they are also attacking towards Levatne. Uh, information coming from the Russian Defense Ministry, they did not say that the Ukrainians are operating on an offensive operation in this area here. They simply say that they, they destroyed uh, Ukrainian tanks. So I really I interpret this as a Russian attack. Uh, so this is actually why uh, it's in red color. So the situation here is uh, pretty in, in flux. And... Um, Moving into the Donetsk front, uh, at the Donetsk front, uh, the U Ukrainian forces were attacking at Novo Donetsk, according to Deep State UA, and uh, near Prashistivka. Prashistivka's uh, information is coming from the Russian Defense Ministry, which means the Ukrainians are actually attacking uh, in the entire front over here. And if you zoom out a bit uh, on the Velika Novo Circle sector to the Mayorsk sector, you can see that the Ukrainians are attacking across the main entire front line except that uh in this area here the russians are actually uh, counter-attacking uh in this area here and they are, the russians are also holding the line bombarding makarivka and uh, information there is was uh, there is shelling using the heavy flame trouble system in the south of velika nova circle sector uh, so the russians are also shelling this area here um so yeah that's all from uh the Donetsk front in the southernmost part. Uh, over at Marinka, we have fighting reported at Mar uh, Marinka. The Yoke group of forces reported that they have repelled a Ukrainian attack uh, in near Marinka. However, uh, the Ukrainian Defense Ministry disputed and they say that the Russians are attacking. So there is a parallel universe uh, in this area here where both sides say that they are attacking each other. Um, and uh, moving into the Adyevka front, at the Adyevka front, the Ukrainians are on the offensive uh, at Povomaisky. Uh, previously, Povomaisky had always been a Russian uh, thing. You know, the Russians are always attacking in this area for the past most of the one year. And this time around, we have the U Russian Defense Ministry acknowledging that the Ukrainians are attacking. They, they say that they have repelled uh, Ukrainian attacks at Povomaisky. 
So uh, this is corroborated by Deep State UA as they say that the Russians are losing position near Povomysky due to the weakening, uh, due uh, weakening of the uh, due to the offensive operations. So this is happening over at Povomysky. Uh, oh, and uh, the other attack uh, being reported by the Russian Defense Ministry is at Petrovsky. Uh, for those that may try to use Google Map to search, Petrovsky is not here. But there is actually a small town, a small little village over here. This is actually Petrov Koye. Uh, so the Ukrainians are actually attacking this sector, this area here, uh, west of Krasnohorivka. So uh, if if you just use Google Map, you will actually find yourself in a totally different place. And uh, however, the Ukrainian Defense Ministry say that the Russians are attacking towards uh, Adyevka. And um, with absolutely a lack of details uh we have no idea no where exactly they're talking about and uh i just suddenly realized there is a memorial to the defenders of adfk huh interesting what kind of memorial is that uh new york front we have nothing at the new york front and moving into the bakhmut front uh bakhmut front uh the ukrainians are the one having some bad mood uh, it seems with deep state ua and the ukrainian defense ministry both says that there is fighting at the Kievka and Yakitne. Uh, you the Ukrainian Defense Ministry say that it's the Russians that are attacking over here. And uh, with the Deep State UA not specifying who is the one on the offensive, uh, I'm gonna assume that it's, it's, the, it's the Russians are currently you know, attacking this area over here. And uh, that's all from the Bakhmut, the Bakhmut front. Uh, the Bakhmut, yeah, it looks like the offensive is uh, dying down. Uh, it seems like the Ukrainians cannot break through the Russian lines over here. And uh, over at the Sivas front, at the Sivas front, we have uh, Remelin 21 saying that the Ukrainians are rushing uh, towards Rostovka to fight and fend off airborne units, fight and fend off attack. I think this airborne referring to the Russian troops, which is why I put it as a Ukrainian attack. However, the Ukrainian Defense Ministry and Deep State UA says that the Russians are attacking uh, adversely. Or rather, the the Ukrainian Defense Ministry say that the Russians are attacking, uh, but Deep State UH simply say fighting at Versailles. So I have to put it as a Russian attack towards Versailles. Um, so the situation here is uh, uncertain. Uh, there is no clear indication who is actually uh, doing these things over here. And uh, over at Bilohorivka, there is uh, information coming from Deep State UA saying that the Russians are piling on the reserve. And they are very serious about the village. So I believe that uh the the the, the Kasaps uh as they as the deep state UA says they are gonna propose to build Horifka very soon. Uh things are getting serious, is uh no. Uh it's time to settle down. And uh so the Russians are attacking Bill Horifka uh with their love. And um f there is uh, fighting reported near Hrykhorivka. The Russian Defense Ministry say that uh, there is reconnaissance of close to Hrykhorivka. I will continue to assert that this might actually be within the Serebransky forest tree rather than in the south, uh, which is more awkward, I would say. So, um, and moving into the Crimea front. This is Crimea. At the Crimea front, uh, there is fighting reported within the Serebransky forest tree. Uh, because the information comes from Deep State, Deep State UA and again, they do not specify who is actually in the offensive we i put it in purple because because purple is the color between red and blue so it simply signifies uh a position of fighting or no uh, unknown unknown uh fighting of an unknown nature like you know they use scissors paper stone and uh the there is shelling being reported within the ceremonial forest tree shelling is also reported at dibrova at at toske and uh and also at Terni. Uh, this is information as usual. It's coming from the Russian Defense Ministry. Moving away from the Crimea front into the Svetovay front, the Ukrainians are attacking uh, in the area of Edyevka. Uh, and sorry, Andriyevka and uh, Berestove. Information coming from the Russian Defense Ministry as usual. And over at the Kupians front, uh, it went really quiet. Uh, there is only one incident. Uh, they are fighting reported near Sinkivka according to the Russian Defense Ministry. Uh, si similarly, uh, for Sinkivka, uh, Berestove, and uh, Andriyevka, uh, these are all probing attacks. Uh, these are not major offensives. 
uh, at least based on what the Russian Defense Ministry's uh, terminology used, they say that it is actually a sabotage and reconnaissance. So this is the summary for the day of uh, 476. Please press the like button. And also for those that are unsubscribed, especially uh, you have watched a lot of videos from DPA and have not subscribed, please subscribe so that uh, new viewers be able to find this channel because there is a limit the YouTube algorithm will provide to DPA or any YouTube channels based on the subscribership. So without, uh, unless, you know, I'm showing pretty girls uh, shaking their boobs, you know, the, this, the, the video is not going to be promoted uh, to a lot of people. So do subscribe so that we can increase the base and allow YouTube uh, to actually promote this to more new viewers. So thank you for watching. And uh, this is a summary for the day of seven four hundred seventy six for the 14th of June. And I'll see you in the next update.